Now, Jabreen is part of our, an essential part of our dreaming, dream time story. And it relates to, well, how is the coast formed? The geology uh, of the Gold Coast. In the beginning, the Gold Coast, and, and for all intents and purposes, the rest of Australia was formless and shapeless. It was just a great big planet. But for our, for our reasoning, for our story, dream time, uh, the Gold Coast was formless without shape. Into, out of the dream time came a giant from the north, Javreen. You can call him, if you like, J-A-B-R-W-E-N. J-A-V-R-W-E-N. Take your pick, but that's how it is, the researchers. Uh, for, our, for our convenience, we call him Jabreen. And he was the giant who came here. In the beginning was the dreaming, and the dreaming was the gods. And that was the beginning of everything. Enter Jabreen, the dream time god, the call him the manufacturer, if you like, and so it was. He came in here and he looked around and for whatever reasons he decided, oh, I'm going to do something about here, about the coast here. He didn't call it the coast, about the land there. And so he got to work. He formed the mountains, Burrell. He formed the rivers, Baal, Balan and he formed uh, the rivers. Well, I just said the rivers because in the rivers he put the fish. Jalum, walal, plenty of fish and other, other fish. Uh, so that was the most important thing with us too. We're, we're environmentalists by nature, taught that way to respect Mother Earth. All the greenery around us, and so uh, he formed, made the trees. Interestingly, too, the trees weren't just trees uh, without a reason, but there were fruit trees, there were vines, fruit vines, guan, uh, bananas, passion fruit, everything you like to mention. And so, um, that was Javreen. He liked it so much that he shaped it. Now, so he had that artistic in him, that artistic ability. And then he peopled it. He made, put the people came in here too, remember? And so after he saw it, he loved it. He loved what he saw. And he decided, oh, time for a fish, uh, for a feed now, so, and a bogey. He went, so out he went. Remember, he's a giant. High as the story, to those uh, high, high rises down the coast there. And so out he went. How far out did he go, being, being a giant? He went out to the horizon. He'd, he'd had a big feed of guppy. K-A-B-E, guppy. Some say coupe, depends who it is telling the story, but it all means the same, native bee honey, essentially. And so he washed himself, had a feed, washed himself, and he came back. And he was satisfied with what he'd seen, made a good job, manufacturer. Uh, and so he came ashore, and then he was going to have a bit of a camp. And in doing so, he raised his hands, raised his hands up. And so powerful was he with his dream time creativity that the ground, molten lava around him, remember it's all volcanic land around down the coast there, 
the molten lava came and enshrouded him or wrapped him up. With a result, everything hardened and he went to sleep. Now, if you look carefully as you go down there at Burley Heads, Burley's an English name, Jabreen, that's our name, Jabreen. If you look carefully, you'll see you walk around the Burley Mountain. On the northeastern side, there's a track for, for visitors and tourists and families. Look up. Once you start to sight the Wynnum trees, that's Pandanus, P-A-N-D-A-N-U-S, Pandanus trees, look up like that on your left, just past the Pandanus, and you'll see Gouray. They look like fingers. And they were. His fingers were poking out or protruding from the volcanic lava where he decided to go to sleep. Even today, thousands of years, timeless, you can't put a time on this, thousands and thousands of years later, you look up there, even today, and you'll see Javreen's fingers, the fingers of the giant who made the Gold Coast, poking out towards the ocean. That's the story of Jabreen the Dreaming God. <laughs>